So now we talk about the vertebral column as a whole. Anybody want to know what the other name for the neck is? Cervical, right? And then the mid back is usually the thoracic. Then you have lumbar, okay? And then what's this one down here? Sacrum, right? So we have seven cervical vertebra, 12 thoracic, five lumbar. We have five sacrum, but they fuse towards the end of adolescence. And then all the same kind of thing at the coccyx. So coccyx usually uh, means the word beak. So it usually refers to a beak. So that's the one that the, basically what people call the tailbone. And that starts out as four or five vertebra, and actually only in a small percentage of people does that actually completely fuse. So you can have an articulation right there. Sometimes people will fall and their tailbone will get, get pushed in. And then the curves of the spine here, the neck and the low back are what's called lordotic curves, and then the thoracic and the sacrum are considered kyphotic curves. Okay, so this would be a lordotic curve here, which is concave posteriorly, and then the kyphotic curves are concave anteriorly. And then, does anybody know what you call it when you have a curve side to side like that? Scoliosis. Scoliosis, right. So if somebody has their pump over forward like this, you'd call that hyperkyphosis, okay? And then the other thing that happens is in the neck, you have a reverse lordosis, or a straightening of the lordotic curve. A lot of times when people have auto collisions, whiplash type of things, what happens is the muscles go into spasm and the curve in their neck gets straight. Okay, so this is basically what I just said. You have the cervical and the lumbar and lordotic curves, which is here and here. And then here's what we would say the hyperkyphosis. And then here's a scoliosis, which is an abnormal lateral curve. Okay, so that pretty much covers the axial skeleton. As far as palpation things, there's a couple other points that you need to know, and these are in the notes here, actually a little more than what's on here, so we'll go over those. There's a whole, it's in this part here, it's a, it's a whole bunch of stuff about all the different parts of the ear. Okay. So obviously with acupuncture points, there's a lot of stuff you need to know on the ear. There's all these different curves and helixes and tragus, so make sure you go over that in the notes. But basically the points that you need to be aware of is what's the, the difference between the nostril is the nostril is the actual opening of your nose, right? And then the word ala means, does anybody know, means wing, right? So this is the ala nasi, which is the part, that, the actual meat of it, or in this case, the cartilage, that surrounds the actual nostril itself, right? So this is the ala nasi, which would be right here. Okay, this is the picture that's in the notes if you have them. And then we'll talk about the nasal labial groove. Nasal meaning nose, labia meaning lip, so that's this groove right here, which is right there. Okay, you can see that over here. Okay. And then, so mental, a lot of times we talk about mental, you're talking about your chin, too, so this is mental labial groove, is the one right here. Between the lips as labial and Incremental. So this is mental labial groove. And then you have the infraorbital foramen. That's the one we're talking about in the maxillary bone. If you palpate under there, you can sort of feel a little bit of indentation. If you go under the zygomatic arch and, and you go side to side, you feel a little bit of a dip. Right? That's going to be this one here. Right? And then you have the canthus, which is the inside and outside part of your eye. So you have the inner canthus and the outer canthus. So that's these right here. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah.
And then this part right here, the little flap on your ear, that's called the tragus. Right? And then this part here is the antitragus. Anti means opposite. So you have here you have the tragus, and then opposite that you have the antitragus, which is this part here. And so then what do you think you would call that little notch in between? The intertragic notch. So those are things that those the let's see the three or four on here that we have in the ear are the basic ones you need to know for this class, but obviously you'll get into it more when you talk, talk about ear points. And then those are all in the those are the whole big long list of all the stuff and there's a bunch of that's about it here. Okay, so, let's see what time is it? 11? Five minutes, two.